Okay, let's get started with chapter one, section one, linear equations. So, what are we up to? We're going to solve linear equations in one variable and solve rational equations that are reducible to linear equations. Remember, rational equations are things that have variables in the denominator, like 5 over x. All right, and we do need to eliminate values that result in a denominator being equal to zero. These are things that are going to be called extraneous solutions. And extraneous might only have one in it. Let's find out in a little bit. All right, so for those of you who like to get the whole summary down at the beginning, here it is. Pause your video if you'd like to and get that down. Otherwise, we're moving on to some problems. Okay, so solving uh, equations in one variable, linear equations in one variable. You have done this in Algebra 1, so just a refresher. We're going to subtract 4 from both sides. 3x equals 12, and then we'll divide both sides. 3 equals 4. Okay. The other thing you can say here is the solution is x equals 4, and you can also say the solution set. is, and then you have these fancy curly braces, which put four on the inside. Okay, but x equals four, perfectly acceptable as an answer. Your turn. Okay, so we need to subtract three from both sides. So x equals six. Divide by two, x should equal three. Okay, so what exactly is a linear equation? A linear equation in one variable, x, right? So if we're picking x, then we're going to say ax plus b equals zero. It can be written in that form, all right? So you can get all of the coefficients with x plus all of the constants onto one side, all right? Don't worry too much about that, but we do want to worry about this down here, right? If you have x to the first power, and that's your biggest power, so your degree is one or first degree, that's going to be linear. Now the biggest thing with this and add this in here, is how many solutions you would have. If you are linear, you are going to have one solution. I will say max. So we'll have a max of one solution. If you are a quadratic or a second degree, you will have a max of two solutions. If your degree is three, you will have a max of three solutions. All right, so we'll think about that as we go through. A little harder, but uh, still review. We're going to distribute this negative. So we'll have 5x minus 7x plus 4 minus Two, 5 minus 3x, distribute the negative to the 2, minus 2. We'll clean up both sides. 5x minus 7x is negative 2x plus 2 equals negative 3x. 5 minus 2 is 3. And then let's add 3x to both sides. So we'll have x plus 2. Let's cancel out. Equals 3. And we'll subtract 2 from both sides and we'll get x equals 1. Return. Okay, you should have distributed for x minus 4 minus 2 equals 3x plus 6. And so we will have 4x minus 6 equals negative 2x plus 6. Go ahead and add 2x to both sides. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and add both sides. So those cancel. We have 6x equals those cancel 12 x equals 2. Okay, so what about fractions? If you have a linear equation involving fractions, get rid of the fractions. No, we all love fractions. We're just going to get rid of them. That's a bad situation, but we have to. How do we do that? We're going to multiply by the least common denominator. So what's the least common denominator between 2 and 4? LCB here is 4. So we're going to multiply each term, each, each, each term by the LCD. This case is 4. Now, the reason I made such a point of this is that people multiply this by 4. And they multiply this by 4. I can't forget to multiply this by 4 because it's not a fraction. Each term, even if it's not a fraction. So, 1 half P times 4 turns into 4 over 2, or 2p. Negative 5 times 4 becomes negative 20. And 3 over 4p times 4, 4s would cancel out, and you would be left with 3p. 
So let's get all the p's on one side. One minus two p minus two p. We've got negative. P equals, uh, sorry, negative twenty equals p. Okay, you should have multiplied everything by twelve. Most common denominator, including the three by twelve, and so twelve divided by four is three. 12 divided by 12 is 1, and 3 times 12 is 36. Subtract m from both sides, 2m equals negative 36. Divide both sides by 2, and we'll say m is equal to negative 18. Okay, so for those of you that like to have the steps in order, here they are, three steps to solving a linear equation. First step, simplify both sides. So if you had something with a lot of distributing here, distribute. Clean it up until both sides are simplified. Step two, gather all the variables on one side and the constants on the other. So you want all the variables on one side, constants on the other, so that you can step three, isolate the variable, divide both sides by 10. You'd end up with your solution. Okay, so we're gonna move into rational equations. So a rational equation is an equation that contains one or more rational expressions. And remember, a rational expression is an expression that has a variable in the denominator. So how do we deal with this? So we need to find the lowest common denominator of 3x, 2x, and 3. So between 3 and 2, we have 6. And between x and x, we have x. So the LCD is 6x, which means we need to multiply every single term we see times 6x see what happens. So for the first one, 6x divided by 3x turns into 2, because the x cancel out on 2 that was there originally. Plus, 6x divided by 2 turns into 3x, right? 6 divided by 2 is 3, the x is still there, times the 1 that was originally there, equals 6x over x is just a 6, which your 4, Plus 6 over 3 is a 2. X, the X is still there. 4. It's out of here so we can see it all. All right, let's clean this up. 4 plus 3X equals 24 plus, that was a 4 right here. Yes, it was. 8X. And so we'll minus 3X on both sides. And we'll minus 4 on both sides. Get negative 20 equals 5X. And so negative, five, negative 4 equals x. Your turn. Okay, the LCD here is 2y. We'll multiply everything by 2y. Over here they cancel. Over here the y's cancel. So we have 2 times 3 plus 2 times 2y equals 7. So 6 plus 4y equals 7. Back to 6's. 4y equals 1, y equals 1 quarter. Okay, let's talk about extraneous solutions. So extraneous solutions are solutions that satisfy the transformed equation, but not the original. So when we multiply by the LCD, we are transforming the original equation to this equation, which means that sometimes answers won't actually work. Let's find out how that works. So our LCD here, there's only one denominator, so the LCD is x minus 1. So you multiply each term with x minus 1. Okay, these cancel out, these cancel out. We're left with 3x plus 2 times x minus 1 is 3. Let's distribute 3x plus 2x minus 2 is 3. And so we have x, 1x, up to both sides. End of a very long day. I decided that 3 plus 2 was 1 and not 5. There it is. 5x equals 5. x equals 1. Okay. All right, so you would say x equals 1, but when we look back at the original, can x equal 1? If it did, wouldn't the denominator be 1 minus 1 and be 0? And you cannot divide by 0. So since x is 1, but x at the same time can't be 1, we're going to say x equals 1 is an x is an extraneous
one end solution. And since that's the only solution we have, we say this is no solution. OK, your turn. Most common denominator would be x minus 2. Cancel, 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 cancel. We have 2x minus 3, x minus 2 equals 4. So 2x minus 3x plus 6 equals 4. So we will have 2x minus x. We will end up with negative x equals negative 2. But by negative 1, x equals 2. But from up here, we would say x cannot equal 2 because 2 minus 2 is 0. So 2 is an extraneous solution. No solution is our answer. OK, so we've talked about LCDs for real numbers, but how about for equations with different denominators? So if you have x and x minus 1, the lowest common denominator means multiply them together. So every single denominator just gets multiplied together. But one thing you're going to want to do first is if you have an equation like this, can you factor each of the denominators to see if anything's in common? So if you factor 3x minus 3, you can pull a 3 out, and you're left with x minus 1. Here you can pull a 2 out, you're left with x minus 1. Here you can pull an x out, you're left with x minus 1. So x minus 1 is your least common denominator. 3 times 2 times x is 6x. Let's try it. All right, so 1 over, I'm going to factor out a 3 and have x plus 6. Minus 1 over, I'm going to factor out a 2 and have x plus 6. Equals 1 over, I'm going to factor out an x and have an x plus 6. Hey, look at that. Our LCD is 6, 3 times 2 times x, 6x, x, x plus 6. So that's what we need to multiply every single term by. So we're going to multiply by 6 x plus 6, and 6, x plus 6, and times 6, times x plus 6. Cancel your x plus 6s. Very nice. That helps a lot. Okay. And then what do we have here? Oh, I apologize. 6x. 6x. And 6x. So 6 divided by 3 is 2. We're left with a 2x times the original 1. Minus the original 1 times 6x divided by 2 is 3x equals your x's cancel out and you're left with 1, 6. So what do we have here? We have 2x minus 3x equals 6, negative x, 6. Divided by negative 1, x equals 6, uh, x equals negative 6. But no solution is our answer. Why would that be? Because if we plug negative 6 in right here, what's negative 6 plus 6? We would get 0, and so we're dividing by 0. Can't be done. Negative 6 is extraneous, no solution. Give it a shot. All right, this is already factored. Our LCD is x times x plus 1, x times x plus 1, x times x plus 1. Cancel where you can. So we're left with 2 times x plus 1, plus 1 times x equals negative 1. Clean it up, 2x plus 2 plus 1x equals negative 1. We have 3x minus 2 and minus 2 will be negative 3. x is negative 1, divided by 3. And so if we plug it back in, can x be negative 1? No, uh, so we have no solution. All right, solving rational equations, just another example. This is an example where you could cross multiply because cross multiplying, the LCD here is x minus 3, 2 minus x. We're going to do that over here, x minus 3 and 2 minus x. Once we cancel, you'll see that we've ended up multiplying both equations by the opposite denominator, this 2 by this denominator, this negative 3 by this denominator. So cross multiplying is just a shortcut for using this LCD technique. So we'll clean this up. 4 minus 2x equals negative 3x plus 9. And let's add 3x to both sides. So those cancel. And we'll minus 4 to both sides. Those cancel. And what do we have here? x equals 5. 
your turn. All right, so x minus six, x plus eight. X minus six, x plus eight. Cancel. We'll have negative four times x plus, or x minus six equals three, x plus eight. Negative four x plus 24 equals three x plus 24. Let's add four x to both sides. And so we'll have 24 equals 7x plus 24. Let's subtract 24 from both sides. And we'll have 0 equals 7x divided by 7. 0.